Hello, everyone. Greetings from Russia, where I'm enjoying the lockdown. It's quite, quite fun because we're a big country and actually we can still move around a little bit, which is good. So guys, as uh, V Resorts, we have always been a very, very data-driven company. We love data, we love stories. I used to be a management consultant in the past. It's, now it's all about data here. And we actually decided to, to make a survey. And uh, initially we planned like a small one, just a few questions, but it turned out to be quite a holistic, just uh, asking, asking travelers what they expect in this post-COVID world and trying to make it insightful for hotels. And funny enough, you know, it's, it's very much correlating with what the panelists were saying about F&B, about online checkings and everything. So let me just walk you through. It will not take much of your time. So this is just a summary. So as you can see, we just asked people from the whole range of countries, from New Zealand to United Kingdom. So you see some of them are quite big and quite significant. And... Uh, Ages, you know, age groups are pretty much people who do travel. 31 to 44 are probably the most active ones, which is the majority here. And we did ask frequent travelers. So as you can see, half of them travel three to eight times a year. And uh, on the next slide, I will see you a few results what we got. So the first one is on hotel greetings. So how people expect to be, to, to, to be welcomed in the hotel. So uh, they really want to receive instructions or, or some guidelines, and it's around 85%, which is quite, quite good and quite obvious, to be fair. So basically, do send it in advance. So that's the, another good tip for hotels. So now the, and post-COVID, probably hotel transfers will be booming because people will trust hotel a bit more than just regular taxi. And that's a very good source of auxiliary revenue, which I know hotels are fighting for this all the time, but now it's going to be a very, very good time to, I think it, it's good to be more proactive in offering the hotel transfer. And uh, remote check-in online, uh, ideally no, no connection, no time with reception. Just do everything you can online. Just leave me the key and, and go go to the room. So this one is on hotel operations, and that's quite interesting to what Bruce was saying, because as you can see, like in the center of the slide, people actually want to go to the restaurant. So 70% still being cautious, still being a bit afraid, they want to go to the restaurant. So that's, that's a must. And uh, it's quite obvious that certification is needed and people would prefer certification. So it's definitely country by country. Not every country can even do that. But, you know, if, it, if you can apply as a hotel, it's good to have. And, yeah, all kinds of measures. Uh, and I think, you know, the, the takeaway from, from hotel side should be not only take the measures, but do communicate it to the guest. So do print the cert certificate, uh, do send them some email that, hey, we made sure everything is all right. It's quite obvious, but I think what hotels might be a bit not not clear as that I, I'm quite sure they do everything in terms of preparation. Uh, it might be a bit of lack in communication. That's why not only prepared to communicate to the guests because they do care about that. Yeah, finally, of course, being a VR company because uh, what we do, we help hotels to promote, to do sales with virtual reality. And uh, it's, it's very good time for virtual reality because people are being at home, locked down. We see a huge growth. First of all, in just getting devices at homes, getting more information, getting more data. Of course, we wanted to, to ask same people, do they believe that working through the hotel and VR will increase their confidence and end of the day, just make the final call for them. And it's, it's very positive for us. So basically, more than half of the people said, yes, definitely, it will help them to make the right choice. And that's, that's pretty much it about the survey. Thank you.